All right, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing at this time. Major of Honor Kelly Bayon would like to say something. Kelly, whenever you're ready. Well, Kelly, but um, certainly we've been friends for a long time. I'd like to begin by congratulating you guys and thank you all for being here. I know your parents have loved you since day one, and Pete and his family have embraced you with the hearts. But for my part, I couldn't love a sister more than I love you. It seems like we've been friends for a lifetime, but we met about 10 years ago, just after you graduated from college. We were casual kind of acquaintances on now because you lived in North Jersey and I lived in uh, down at the shore. But that changed when we exchanged email addresses. Tim is a talented computer nerd. <laughs> and not only that, she's a gifted writer with a devilish sense of humor. We exchanged hundreds of emails over time. And as we got to know each other, Tiffany became an endless source of support, thoughtfulness, and haunting. <laughs> then as luck would have it, my husband was offered a job up in Putin. Tiffany took on the role of an eager real estate agent. <laughs> In retrospect, maybe it's a little strange that the only places available were only 10 miles from her home. <laughs> but she did help us find a wonderful place to live. And the bonds of our friendship have grown even stronger. We've been able to spend more time together. We have shared countless meals and walks and laughter and tears. And those, I've always been so thankful to have you in my life. If you're only half as good of a wife as you are a friend, you guys are going to have a great marriage. I am so proud of you, and I never could see you happier or more content. And I know it's because of the, the handsome, smart, wonderful man that's sitting by your side. He thank you so much for bringing so much joy and laughter to this life. In closing, I'd like to offer you this. In the days and months and years ahead, cherish your time together, love one another, and stand up for one another. Always take time to talk and really listen to each other. Put the love that you share in your family first and everything else second. Don't be afraid to lean on each other, but will only make you both stronger. And finally, remember there can never be too many hugs, hugs or too much laughter. Tiffany and Pete, here's to a lifetime of love and friendship. I don't have a glass of <laughs> 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 All the best. All right, let's see the drawing room. Round of applause for the last